Hey y'all, welcome back. So today we're going to jump into a 124th scale car from Jada Toys. If you clicked on the video, you already know what it is. But I'm still excited because I haven't seen it yet. I just got it in the Amazon packaging. So we're going to open this thing up. Oh, it's that kind. With the, with the foam. With the foam flying out. Oh man, that's going to be so cool. Like when I saw this, I haven't seen it in store, but I saw it when Jada Toys, they put it on their Instagram. It was the first place I saw it, and it's, they had like a music video type feel to it, and it was really awesome. Oh man, I've been waiting a long time for this car. Like this is the one. Like this one, I thought was really cool. The coolest car in Tokyo Drift. fuzz all over it but yeah so this isn't just a normal unboxing so we're gonna you know we're gonna open this up we're gonna break it down we're gonna take a look at it and then I'm gonna do some toy photography some car photography the way that I do it so if you guys want to stick around to the end we'll do that but first let's break this thing down and then we'll get into the toy photography <coughs> all right Hans here finally to the party the coolest scene from Tokyo Drift was when he was going through the crowd. Yo, that thing was fire. Like this car. Look at this thing. How many of you guys tried to make this on Forza also? Huh? I did. Look at that. Trunk opens up. Hatchback. Sorry. You got exhaust pipe all chromed out. Tip all chromed out. The lights are, are yeah, the taillights are all blacked out. This thing is a monster. Steering wheel on the opposite side. See if you guys can really see in there. Let's get tight. Let's get in there. You got steering wheel on the inside. You got your shifters, which you can paint all that stuff too. If you want to give it that little bit, you got the Nas tank in there. Right over there. With the little touch screen. You get your e-brake, your shifter. All right, we got the hood cracked. Let's do this. Yo. Look at that thing. All oh, chromed out. It's so shiny, it makes the under, the under hood look chromed. Yeah, this car is on point. Jada just does an awesome job with the way that they bring these to life. And the coolest thing is, is weekly, they take our photos, so if you tag them in your photos, then you could have a chance of being shared on their main page on Fridays, I believe they do it. So make sure if you're doing any 124 scale car photography that you uh, shout them out. Give them a little bit of love for all the hard work that they put into these, because these things look amazing. Yeah, this thing just looks great. So freaking cool. They just nailed this out of the park. Look at that. Look at the little Nas tank in there. I know it's hard to see, but it's there. And also, guys, I'm going to hit this with a little bit of uh, this wax and dry spray wax, this turtle wax. And I've had this forever. But it helps get all the fingerprints that I just put all over it. Helps get all that stuff off. So that way, when you're going to take the photos, you don't have your finger smudges all over it. But yeah, Jada, Jada they killed it once again. And also, quick tip... I saved this thing too out of the uh, box because this, whoops, this you can use when you do your forward photos because it's really hard to get a good shot. So if you're going to do your photo from like here, you can take like, a really cool shot. So let's bring this thing to life even more than Jada already did. Jada Toys killed it. Killed it. Killed it. There's, I can't say enough good things about them, but they did an excellent job. So let's take what they did and... Uh, Let's take some photos. So if you guys remember before, I did the whiteout, so I might go back to that, but I just want to try doing it where a darker photo kind of like blacked out look. I also have this light that I was going to try to use. I don't know if it'll show up that well. But yeah, just a simple little 
Boop. Not sure what the best angle is for you guys to see this. There's so much dust because we're using all these dark colors. So on my menu screen, you guys can see it. I'm gonna go to the shoot, advance. I'm gonna go with this dark. And then we're gonna go down to 1.7 and just see what we can get with that. Use live view. So as I was telling you guys, this is like really fine focus. I have a couple different lenses we might swap out, but look how nice and crispy that thing looks. So let's see what we can get. Something like that. All right, let's swap to white out. A few little changes. So you got your glass, and guys, this glass is just regular glass, and then I spray painted glossy black on one side for the black, and then glossy white on the other side for the white. I did have two sheets of this, but I don't have a bigger sheet like this one, because I use this one for uh, Black Series and Star Wars Black Series and stuff like that. So I need a little bit bigger space with the walls and everything else that I get. But for this, all you need is, you know, this little piece. I wanna say it's like 10 by 12 or something. So going into our settings, this one, we're gonna go to shoot, we're gonna go advance again, and then this time we're gonna go to bright white, take bright white. And we wanna bump that up. To there. So that, we're gonna go live, live view. Oh yeah. Looks like a showroom floor this way. So those are a little bit too bright. So instead of 1.7, try 1.0. Hope that helped out a little bit, guys. Thanks to Jada Toys for making the Hans RX-7. This, this Mazda RX-7. This thing is just legit AF. AF! No, it's so freaking rad. Like, that's that's boss. So I was really excited. I Like I said, I saw it, that it was coming out, and I'm just excited that it's finally here. So I can't wait to see what else they have to offer. I've been finding a lot of the vehicles on clearance right now because it seems like their new stuff is coming out so this one wasn't this one actually i paid above retail to get because i had to have this thing in hand so thank you for watching i hope this like i said i hope this helped out a little bit by the way 
Nikon D3500 is what I was using, and the lens I was using was the 17 millimeter. It might be called 20. I know they round up and round down and do different things with the uh, lenses and stuff like that. But you can do it also with your phone. So use your smartphone if you know if you don't want to spend the money on having a camera. You can still take some awesome epic photos. And sometimes you can get a better angle with your cell phone. Like if you want to get down by a tire, you want to get like a muffler shot or exhaust shot. Not muffler, but exhaust shot, something cool like that. So use your phone if you want to. So it's all about having fun, and thank you for watching once again. I know I said that like three times. And remember, if you get a cool car or a 124 scale thing, and you guys want to share it and on Instagram, if you hashtag Jada Toys, you might have a chance. They might share your stuff. They've shared a couple of my things, and I was like, what? Because I've been taking shots for doing shots of Hasbro Toys and Bandai Toys and SH Figure Arts for years, and... I've never had as much love as I've had from Jada Toys, so I appreciate them. Thanks for stopping in. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, be kind to one another.